Uh, Mahmoud says, when we buy second-hand cooking pan from non-Muslims, we have to wash it. But even after washing several times with soap, stains remain. In non-stick pans, these stains are from oil, fat, or food cooked previously, right? So what is the ruling after washing so many times? Is the pan pure or impure? Can it be used for cooking? So generally speaking, eating and drinking in the utensils of Muslims and non-Muslims alike are, is permissible because these are cups, jugs, plates, pans, and the likes. So there's no problem in eating in them because the Prophet وسلم, ate from it as in the hadith of the Jewish woman who invited him to eat from a ram, him and his companions, and he ate from their plates as in the hadith of a Jew boy inviting the Prophet وسلم, to some uh, um, lard or fat with barley that had a smell to it and the Prophet ate from it, alayhi salatu wasalam, and of the hadith of the woman, the idol worshiper who the companions borrowed from her uh, uh, container, water skin uh, bag or container and performed wudu. So this is, generally speaking, permissible. There are hadiths where the Prophet instructed the companions not to use it if there is an alternative. And if there was no alternative, then they should wash it and then eat in it. But scholars combined all these different evidences and said that only when there is doubt that is close to certainty that they've used these utensils in consuming haram, such as wine, or pork or dead meat, etc. In this case, yes, we have to wash it and then eat on, and drink in it. So generally speaking, if you buy a pan that was already used by non-Muslims, the default, it is pure until proven otherwise. But if you have doubts that this might be from pork or haram meat, then you may wash it thoroughly. The stain that remains is just a color, it's a stain that has no mass to it, and hence it has no impact on the permissibility and the purity of that pan, and Allah knows best. Finally.